Shalom, Kalala Yaha, Basham Yahusha, Basham Kakadash, the Bible of the Apostles, salute your brothers teaching the word and sincerity and the truth. Um. Uh, so um. This is another video regarding uh. uh this is a video on the screen. The video I done, and um, uh, but this is a uh, pretty much another video in regards to that. And um, you know what they're gonna do is uh, there was this meeting that took place with uh, Prime Minister Boris Johnson, uh, and um, some other individuals, um, <clears throat> and uh, pretty much you had in there you had uh, this the, um, a military uh, a brigadier, you know that deals with. Um, weapons man arms expert and um he was saying in the in the thing about how they're using uh tactics that have used for war that are basically using those tactics um to distribute shots so you know if 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 they ain't coming out and telling you you know what they what they what they're doing what their plans are then there it is now we've seen a whole big situation regarding um, uh, these uh, uh, martial law and the army. You know the army is mobilized pretty much in America. You know you got a whole situation taking place over there um, with the left and the right paradigm, which um, you know pro, you know those both those uh, realms are owned. You know and. You know, we're seeing um, martial law, civil war, all up in that. Now, the uh, coming back to these shots, uh, the shots in the, in the Britain, they're using the army now. They've got mobilized stadiums. They got mobile. They got the 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 individual said, which I, I don't think I'm gonna play any of it. Um, but he said uh, how they've got um, enough uh, shot centers. And and, and, and and places mobilized pretty much they did it quick, you know, um rapid uh, uh operation quick speed if you will, and they've got enough for a chain a, a major supermarket chain. So like you got Asda, you know, certain or it's like a Walmart. So they got them all over the country. I can't remember the number you the figure you give out. So all over the country is a uh, martial law uh, blueprints right now, and uh, um, you know uh, testing centers, uh, shot centers, and um, concentration camps. Pretty much, you've got uh, football stadiums. You've got uh, they're in football stadiums, the army and stuff like that, and administ administering shots. They got them set up. They got uh, supermarkets. Warehouses, you know, whatever the case may be, tennis grounds. So these are checkpoints, and you know the way things were, all of that's gone out the window. They call it the new normal. Now the new normal is this. Let me get the scripture right quick here. And we bring out these scriptures a lot, you know. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them, both to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because you know of that you know of that he have but a short time. So they're coming down with great wrath, draconium setups, and uh you know now they've they've got the army set up in America, right? They're talking about on the uh, the uh, there's gonna be, I think they said in fifty states. There's gonna be um, man, what the hell did they say? Pretty much now you got um videos of uh, the the army all over, you know, in certain parts of America, and they're gonna be out there. So if any of these um left right paradigm uh, uh, you know, chaos takes place, then 
you know, that will give the army an excuse to step in and, you know, and pretty much set up martial law. You, you kind of sent a hint of that with uh, last year, you know, with the stuff that was going on regarding um, all the protests and the chaos. So, you know, National Guard came in and all of that. And that is what it is. That's what's going to happen. You know, um, you know, the order of chaos. Uh, things of that nature. Now, I'm going to read the scripture here. Um, Second Ezra 16 and, uh, and 70. For there shall be in every place and in, in the next cities an insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen sparing none. So what's going to happen is you're going to have uh, and this is what they're doing through, you know, the armies. That like, all, what they're doing now is just demonizing, you know, the, the Israelites and they're demonizing, you know, uh, you know, the people that speak out against stuff and things of that nature. Um, to the point where they basically will label people terrorists, you know, and things of that nature. Um, but they're gonna. All of this is going to come down to the wire where, I mean, if you're an Israelite, man, we talk against, uh, I mean, we, you know, we tell you not to get the mark of the beast. Now, they're telling you to get the mark and they're saying that, and if anyone doesn't want to get it, pretty much, you know, you got problems, you you, you know. Now, we had uh, uh, Tony Blair come out and say, you know, the army is, is, is the best way to, to get things done. So they fought, so they want to, you know, force, you know, these, these, the one, and now they said they want everybody to get the shot. Now, even this individual, army individual, he said um, in this clip, he made a statement and said, uh, we don't want uh, shots on shells, we want them in, in people's arms. Now, Matt Hancock said that. So we're seeing a joint effort here of this NWO. The second hundred sixteen 16 and 71. They shall be like madmen sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So they're going to, it's going to come to a point where anybody that doesn't want to get these things, you know, um, you know, you're going to be looked on as basically being a terrorist, man. Because they're setting all that up anyway, the order of KO, the left right stuff with um you know, if they gotta get the army and they're saying well people are you know crazy, they're they're uh, a threat. And it's happening in, in many different aspects. You know, the American politics, the left right stuff, and then you got um um damn what was I gonna say? Uh, kind of slipped my mind. Second is the sixteen seventy one. They should be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses, man. Yeah, we teach y'all with shy, and that's a, a contrary to this world. And we're teaching that you're not supposed to. Uh, get, you know, bow to his whole system. So, you know, we're anti, you know, you could say anti, you know, establishment, if you will. Um, so that's why they're going to come for the, uh, you know, the Israelites, because we're telling you not to get involved in what Esau is saying at, at any rate. So, you know, you think that they don't know that? You think that they're not, they ain't got plans, you know, to get the elect, you know, on 2nd Andrew then there shall be, then shall it be known who am I chosen, and they shall be tried as it, the gold in the fire. Yeah? Concentration camps, detention centers, all you, well, you're not, you know, present you with the mark of the beast, you don't take it. And that's why they got the army there, man. You've seen the army mobilized, all over the place right now. 
you know, all it takes is something to go down on the 20th or even, you know, before that or whatever for, you know, all chaos and martial law to just be taking place out there. You know, tanks running down your streets. They were saying, uh, one article came out and it was saying how uh, they're trying to, you know, set it up where in England you can only leave your house once a week. Which is going to cause an uprisings. And then with the uprisings, you know, that's where they, um, they're getting more martial law. You know, they force the people, so then they got an excuse. Then they do false flags. Now, like I said, there was one false flag where they were saying pretty much that the dude that did the false flag, he was against 5G. So the Lincoln, if you if you if you don't if you're not with 5G, then you're a terrorist. They were, uh, you know, and that's what they're doing. You know, there were people setting up anti like shot and five G rallies and stuff like that, and there were videos of people getting dragged out of their houses trying to set Facebook groups up and stuff like that in different places. And they were getting dragged out of their houses. Uh, 73, then shall be known who am I chosen and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. So you got Jacob's trouble and you got, uh, you know, these power shut offs, um, you know, and all of that. So, and that's pretty much what it is with you know this is this society is going out with great violence and uh it's only going to get worse man you know um 74 here oh you my beloved saith the lord behold the days of trouble are at hand but i will deliver you from the same yeah the days of trouble all out chaos You know, you've seen um, what took place uh, with, you know, the, you know, s s Trump supporters or whatever, the left or right, you know, we see, you know, it's all that, all that stuff, man, is um, whoever, which one of these individuals is in, the other side are not going to like it. And there's nothing but chaos happening with that situation right now. Because when um, you had, uh, you know, all those, you know, you got the, you know, you had all those uh, Biden protests, you know, I'm going to call them that. You know, the other side weren't happy about it. And then when you have the Trump protests, the other side, so there's going to be chaos. And that's why they got the military up in there. Now they were saying on, uh, they were gonna be, there's going to be, uh, I can't remember what the hell they called it, man. Um, just certain act set up. There was, there's two acts. I have to go back and do another video on it. I was, I was watching it. Um, but the military is all over there. People are showing videos with the military, the military, all up in, 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 the, in the joint, all up in America, all around the place. So this is getting real. Uh, second Ezra 16.75, be you not afraid, neither doubt, for your Basham Yahushai is your guide. You know, blackouts are part of it, you know. You know what I'm saying? So, going back to what I was saying with this individual here. The fact that the military are involved in a... In a... In this thing. It means a lot, man. You know, the military are involved and they're pretty much... You know, anytime you're going to have the military, you need the military there to enforce shots and specialist gun units, military that, you know, that I did, uh, you know, the, you know, if you bring Middle Eastern, you know, warfare tactics and business to shots and you know that this is nothing but, you know, you know what the, what the crack is, man. Uh, let's get, let me get this scripture here. Second is fifteen seventeen. A man shall desire to go into his city, 
and shall not be able. So they're gonna. That's why they got all these checkpoints, checkpoint set up, checkpoint here, there, and it's, oh well, you haven't got a shot. Well, you can't do this, or, or you know. They got an app called Track and Trace. You know, um, but the, you know the bottom line is, oh, how's about to get to break, to break loose, to start, you know, breaking loose. Second is just fifteen eighteen for because of their pride. The city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. It's going to be all hell breaking loose out here. 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with a sword, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, man. You know. Um, so there's going to be all that chaos, man. And, uh, you know, they got the, um, pretty much the army. And I got to do a video on it. Uh, with Tony, what Tony Blair had said about, about it, you know. Um, anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.